everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2016 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 6. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 6. So, question 6 is on graph and ratio, okay? So, um, let's read the question first. Mr. Yip asked some customers to choose their favorite color for a t-shirt. The results are shown below. So these are the results. They are in the form of the graph, okay? So um, these are the results for which color of the t-shirt is their favorite, okay? So part A, what is the ratio of the number of customers who chose red to the number who chose blue to the number who chose green? Okay, B. Mr. Yip ordered a total of 630 t-shirts in the three colors according to the same ratio in part A. How many more blue than red t-shirts were ordered? Okay, so we have read the question. Now, we should highlight the key information. So, let's do that right now. Okay, so Mr. Yip asked some customers to choose. So, this is not really important. And so let's just highlight for part A and part B. So what is the ratio of the number of customers who chose red to, to the number who chose, who chose blue to the number who chose green? Okay, so these are the key information. Now for part B. Mr. Yip ordered a total of 630 t-shirts in the three colors according to the same ratio in part A. Okay, so this is really important. So how many more blue than red t-shirts were ordered? So they are asking us the difference, okay? So now that we have read the question, now we should analyze the graph, okay? So, we should first find out what are these small lines over here. So, we know the bigger lines. What are the smaller ones? So, now, since there are two gaps in between the 4 and 0, we should take 4 divided by 2, which will give us 2. So, each gap is 2. So, 2 here. So, 2, 4, 6. So, it's just the multiples of 2 now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So these are all the numbers that we missed out. Now, now we just need to find the numbers. So over here, it is pointing down to 30. Over here, it is pointing down to 18. And over here, it is pointing down to 6. Okay, so 6 here. 6 here, 30 here, and 18 here. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So now that we have analyzed the graph as well, let's go on to solving part A. So we need to use ratio, right? So red is to blue is to green. So we know the ratio now. 6 is to 30 is to 18. Red is to blue is to green. 6 is to 30 is to 18. Okay? So this is the um, thing okay so now when so we already basically know the answer they are asking us the ratio of red to blue to green right so basically this is the answer but no it's not the answer yet whenever we are giving our answer we should always simplify it okay so we simplify this ratio so it is 1 is to 5 is to 3 when we simplify it okay so we divide by 6 each side. So 6 divided by 6, 1. 30 divided by 6, 5. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Okay, so let me just write it down. This over here, the magic comes from dividing by 6 each side. Okay? So now, 1 is to 5 is to 3 is the answer for part A. Okay, for part B, they told us that he ordered 630 t-shirts okay 630 
t-shirts so this is the total right total of 630 t-shirts so the total is basically one unit plus five unit plus three unit right which is nine units so nine units is equal to 630 so i've always told you when you have units right you should always find one unit so one unit is equal to 630 divided by 9 which is equal to 70 and then they are telling that he ordered them in the same ratio in part a so this is why you can do this so he's uh the question is asking how many more blue than red t-shirts were ordered so we know that blue is five units and red is one unit so blue minus red is five units minus one unit which is four units so you just need to find four units which is 70 times 4, 71 unit times 4, which is 280. So 280 is the answer for part B. Okay? So from this question, I hope you have learned how to solve for graph and ratio. And sometimes questions look hard like this one. But in the real time, the question is actually pretty simple to solve it just like this. Okay? So thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.